Hi guys, my name is Minhajuddin Ansari and you're watching the 38th tutorial on C programming and today I will be talking about static and automatic variables. So by default, local variables are automatic variables. That means the variable right here, num, it is an automatic variable. And what this means is that for each call to the print num function, the local variable will be reinitialized. So it will be reinitialized for each call to the function. And let me show you that by running the program. So since I'm calling the print num function three times, it's going to reinitialize the value of the variable num three times. And when it increments the value of num, it will print the value one three times. So this is an automatic variable. So now if you want to preserve the value of the variable, you can do that by making the value by making the variable static. So just write static before the data type. And now this value, this variable will be preserved for each call to the print num function. So let me just show you that by running the program. So I will be getting the output one, two and three. That means when the printf function is called the first time, the variable num, local variable num is initialized only in the first call to the function. So it is initialized to zero and then the incremented value of the variable num is printed. And then when the printf function is called the second time, it is not initialized again. The previous value of the variable num is used, which was num. So which was one. So when the printf statement prints the value of the incremented num, it will print two. And then when the printf function is called the third time, again, this line is skipped. It is not initialized and the previous value of the variable is incremented. So since the previous value of the variable was two, the incremented value is three and three is printed in the output screen. So this is the purpose of using the static keyword before the name or before the data type of the variable. So that is it about static and automatic variables. And before I end this video, I want to give you a good programming tip. The tip is that, I mean, avoid the use of global variables and static variables. Always try your best to use local variables inside your program because local variables are easy to debug and it makes your code easy to modify and easy to read as well. So avoid global variables and avoid static variables. So thanks for watching this video.